Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese chip. Chip design is the source of the chip industry, and many downstream technologies rely on the development of the design industry. At present, the global chip design architecture market is in the hands of ARM and x86, but another major risk v architecture is quietly emerging. Moreover, most of the senior members of risk v are Chinese enterprises, which is equivalent to the architecture camp of Chinese enterprises. Now that major American companies have increased their risk v, what kind of layout actions are there? Maxic embraces the camp of Chinese enterprises. What does it mean? U.S. companies increase risk v layout. Compared with chip manufacturing, chip design will be less difficult because there is no need to invest in the hardware cost of the industrial chain and there is no risk of chip manufacturing. A chip design company can design a chip in a few years, but the manufacturer needs long-term accumulation and precipitation, and it may not be successful in the end. Therefore, most chip companies are concentrated in the design field. They only need to obtain the necessary EDA tools and architecture support, and then form a research and development team and basically they can smoothly advance chip design projects. But today's chip design industry is changing at any time, not to mention whether it can successfully obtain the support of high-end EDA software, the technology of ARM, an x86 architecture, is not so easy to get. Moreover, under the market rules, both ARM and x86 have clear positions and attitudes, and the companies behind the two architectures cannot do business for anyone. Especially for the ARM architecture, special rules have been formulated to prevent customers, such as Qualcomm, from using external GPUs, NPUs, and ISBs after 2024. This means that Qualcomm will lose the ability to customize chips and must use ARM's computing core. While Qualcomm needs to pay more licensing fees, its ability to design chips will be greatly limited. Finally, Qualcomm is no longer silent and began to increase the layout of the RISC-V architecture and reduce its dependence on ARM. At the RISC-V summit, Qualcomm stated that RISC-V is an emerging alternative to the ARM architecture, and it has the opportunity to be used in chip products designed by Qualcomm. At the same time, Qualcomm emphasized that ARM is an outdated traditional architecture. Obviously, Qualcomm has become a supporter of the RISC-V architecture. Previously, Qualcomm was sued by ARM because of the customized architecture, arguing that Qualcomm used ARM's technology without full authorization. However, Qualcomm did not agree with ARM's statement, and eventually the two parties went to court. Before the court ruling came out, ARM formulated rules that could not use external GPUs, NPUs, and ISBs after 2024, binding Qualcomm to the computing core of the ARM architecture. Unexpectedly, Qualcomm would not do it anymore and directly chose RISC-V as a substitute, reducing the shackles of relying on ARM and becoming a member of the layout of the RISC-V architecture. It is worth mentioning that Intel is also one of the supporters of RISC-V. It not only became a senior member of RISC-V, but also established a RISC-V processor research laboratory to develop corresponding chip products. In addition, 
AMD has also recruited a team of engineers for the RISC-V architecture, formed a CPU, GPU microarchitecture talent team, and entered the RISC-V track for development. Maxic embraces the camp of Chinese enterprises, what does it mean? The influence of RISC-V is becoming more and more obvious. American companies have increased their deployment of RISC-V, which is equivalent to embracing the camp of Chinese companies. Although the RISC-V architecture project originated abroad, as an open source and free architecture, Chinese companies have been deeply deploying it from the very beginning. More than 80% of the senior members of RISC-V are Chinese companies, including Alibaba, Huawei, Ziguang Zhanrui, ZTE, and so on. Therefore, there is a reason for calling RISC-V the Chinese enterprise camp, and most of the ecological construction, technology development, etc. are completed by Chinese enterprises. For example, Alibaba has released the world's first RISC-V high-performance chip development platform Wujin 600, which enables chip companies at home and abroad to quickly develop chips based on this platform, reducing risks and shortening the R&D cycle. There are very big benefits. It is estimated that Biden did not expect that microchip companies embraced the camp of Chinese companies one after another, and together with Chinese companies, they helped the rise of the RISC-V ecosystem. Some foreign media said that the United States sealed a loneliness. Through the influence of RISC-V, starting from the source of chip design, the market can achieve a major industrial breakthrough. The restrictions imposed by the United States on ARM will become less important under the ecological breakthrough of RISC-V, because the majority of chip design manufacturers will have more choices, and ARM will not be the only one. Even Maxic has embraced the camp of Chinese companies. What does that mean? Perhaps it shows that Chinese companies have chosen the right one, and it is the right choice to take RISC-V as the main direction of deployment. Nai Guangnan, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, said that RISC-V is an opportunity for domestic chips, and it can properly focus on the layout. From the current point of view, Chinese enterprises have lived up to expectations and achieved remarkable layout results. Just like Alibaba has integrated the Android system through RISC-V, the Inying 1520SOC chip designed based on this architecture successfully runs multimedia, 3D rendering and other functions on the Android 12 system. This is an important breakthrough in the adaptation of RISC-V and Android on the software and hardware platforms. In the future, RISC-V chips designed by Chinese companies are expected to be used on the Android system, breaking ARM's monopoly on the influence of Android adaptation. The rise of RISC-V has become a trend. Foreign giants such as Qualcomm, Intel, and AMD are increasing RISC-V, while domestic Alibaba, Huawei, and other companies are also continuing to deploy RISC-V ecologically. I believe that in the field of RISC-V track, Chinese enterprises will make greater progress and shape their own future. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.